Did I say it out loud? Yes, we're talking about wedding, but something very in particular that always amazes me. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know? If you don't, try guess. So run the intro. I've been running, came out, gunning, stopped the frame on your words. What you hear, not what you heard. I'ma hang on every verb. I'ma show you what it's worth. Every day I'm on the earth till they put me in a dirt. I'ma get into it first. Welcome back. Episode three. Thank you for being back. Three weeks in a row. Awesome, right? It's a good run. I think they said, what, two weeks is... If you do something for two weeks, that's when you build, uh, what you call habit. That's right. So we're in the habit mode. So we're going to keep going. And I'm glad that you're watching. Today, I'm going to talk about weddings, in particular, wedding rings. Precious. But before that, uh, I want to pay homage. Homage? Is that how you say the word? Homage? 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 Anyway, pay tribute. Tribute? Tribute to it? No, I don't know. I don't think so. But basically, I want to give a shout out to Propeller USA under the direction of Risky Suzuki at the time. Uh, without them, I don't think I will ever, ever have the opportunity to film a ton of weddings. Now, when I say a ton, I mean. That's how much weddings I filmed in a spirit in a span of what 2011 to before the pandemic. Yeah, that was a, there's a lot of weddings, a, a ton of weddings. So with the frequency of how much weddings I did, I my skill set would not have grown. Thank you, Propel USA. Thank you, Risky Suzuki, for hiring me. Uh, that was awesome. Thank you. What I want to talk about are wedding rings. Now, the reason why I want to talk about wedding rings is because I think wedding rings are the ah moments. <laughs> I don't know why I did ah moments, but anyway, I'm singing ah into the video. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of ah moments in a wedding, but particularly, I think that the wedding ring, especially in the, in the wedding video, the wedding ring is a Moment. It's, a, it's a reveal moment. I, I've shot a ton from you know Tiffany's to Cartier's to uh, not Louis Vuitton. Uh, what's the other one? Harry Winston. Yeah, done many of those from like you know one carat to I think the biggest one I did was a uh, was a was a two carat I believe. If I'm not mistaken. So the as a as a professional when you when you shoot a wedding for me in particular I find that filming wedding rings it, it's like almost filming something that is sacred that is probably gonna be with the couple for the rest of your life hopefully and you know that kind of encompasses uh in in, in a tangible terms uh, they are uh, i guess commitment for each other right i mean that's the whole point of the, the ring exchange and um the whole point of you know keeping the, the the ring on even though i don't have mine on right now me and my wife we actually take off our wedding rings at home but we actually wear it out uh wear it on when we go out but anyway every household is different tips for professionals ding, ding, ding. so filming a wedding ring i would say have some thought process before actually filming uh, either google like hey you know finding different shots of what people have done and kind of like taking all of it and making it into your own. I think that's what most creators do. Uh, try to try to mimic that and, you know, put a spin on the shot based on how we think we like it, but based off the picture or video that we watch, right? So a couple of things that I usually do is, you know, I use, I always have good lighting, uh, whether if it's sometimes, you know, makeup could be filming in like four o'clock in the morning, especially like for uh, destination weddings or like Japanese weddings when they you know when they have like a cramped schedule for the day and makeup could be in the morning so I'll always have a you know like a really 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 um, high uh, lumen flashlight and I would use that to to film wedding rings and um, I always have a macro lens and I always have a good tripod or a good slider or something that can actually hold 
my um, camera in place to actually get a steady shot. Me personally, I like getting to know the couple, even though sometimes uh, a language could be a barrier. Um, but 70% of communication is body language. So, and I've done a ton of Japanese weddings to the point where I can guarantee you can find out a person without knowing the language. I can speak a little bit of Japanese, but not um, as fluent as I want to be. And I can tell you for a fact that you can definitely find out somebody's character just by the body language and how they react to certain things. And I always try to film the rings, to be honest. And this is, this is true. I try to film the rings based on who they are. If they're a type of person, but more like an introvert, you know, I'll film it subtly, but you know, still good quality, but in a subtle way. If they're like outgoing and they like, you know, they like to they like to run, they like to jump, they like to, you know, do all do all these kind of fun stuff together, then I will film film it, you know, based on that. Not just the ring shot, but just finding out who the couple is as as a unit, or uh, how they are as individuals, and you know, those types of pieces or those types of information gives me. Um, what I need to kind of piece the puzzle or not the puzzle but piece basically the narrative of the video so couples make sure you like the videographer or the photographer's work and make sure you have good communication with them. communication I think is 50% of everything when it comes to being creative so right now thank you for watching the third episode I appreciate it uh, if you like the song uh, I get all my songs from Artless and you know give give the artist some love man you know they're trying to they're trying to uh, make a living by putting their work out there and uh, their all the info is in the description down below thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week